Yeah. No deal. Yes. Rescue for automakers collapses wow. in the Senate. In the end, they wouldn't do it. So in the end, there is an end. Or is it? We had an arrangement last night. We wondered if we were just being set up. The back and forth continues now. Some of those in the Senate say that it's the fault of the UAW. The problem here lies with some Senate Republicans. No, the problem lies with the union chiefs. Blame us for everything. Just simply subterfuge? Absolutely not. This was no subterfuge. I personally took that as an insult. Most of it I can't say on TV. Well, it was really putting the cart before the horse. Silly people in Congress. A Robin Hood in reverse. Taken from other people who might have used it to buy a shirt, to buy a pizza. I think that uh, this is a very, very simple thing to solve. Wakes up every morning and pinches himself to see if it's all a dream. The Bogov... Uh, the... WWBD. What would Blago do? This is a guy who is so sick, so corrupt. I'm going to try to find a loophole, Newton, and get you some cash. That's illegal. That's corruption. Mm -hmm. That's go to jail time. And should be go to jail time. But dude, I'm going to make sure you get paid for this. Is that legal? <laughs> oh, that's illegal. Yo, I'm the senator now. Next, would you like to be senator from Illinois? <laughs> I don't think I can afford it, chap. <laughs> don't think you can either. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, there's nothing funny about it. My office filed pleadings with the Illinois Supreme Court that Governor Bogoyevich be temporarily removed from office. Some guy talked to some guy about something. No discussion at all of quid pro quo or I was there a discussion? I have nothing to offer. I have to ask him the tough questions. That's what CNN pays us to do. This rocks. This show just rocks.